25th annual Gwendolyn Brooks Open Mic Awards. Ava, Sarah. Unstitch me with gentle hands. Fingers that can trace my cracked silhouette and the little monsters that lurk in my congregation. One, start with the physical scars. There's a figure eight knot on the sole of my foot. Unweave the soul strings, create the catalyst for the evaporation of my marbled skin's wrinkled sheet. Give it four and a half minutes. Only then will the twisted vertebrae in my spine waterfall out, tumble down my back xylophone, collide with empty footprints into puffs of dandelion seed mist. Without a seam, my rib cage unfurls, fluttering out like butterfly wings, off to flit between the metal trees, leaving the meteoroid belt that shields my stomach. To engage the cosmic ritual, hoist all of your patience onto your back. Lean your mouth into the asteroid cloud. Let your honest brain rest on your tongue. Incite a star shower with your sentiments. 15,000 stars will shoot out from my galaxy to reveal not a cosmos, but a coral reef. Uncoordinated constellations of variegated craters sheltering every species of memory. While this soul is saturated by the past, you will find an unopened geode where a heart should hang. You may take your tools, your hammer, and pick. I promise you will not break me as badly as I have been broken before. For too long, you dwell on possibilities of the forbidden, despite guarantees of lackluster disappointment. Without your heed, the pink ropes in my mind have unraveled, turned to shimmering smoke. Panic inspires urgency in you, but too late as my skull has peeled back, collapsed into a beach of seashells. The coral reef has dried and cracked, disintegrated, and washed away the remnants within its dust. Still and still my brain flows out. Every gray thought and honeyed ambition transformed to tendrils of fading vapor, twisting, rising up out of sight into the Earth's jet streams. After the mist, the cosmic shower, the tidal wave, you are standing on a stone plateau, overlooking valleys of trees, the ridge of a lake lining the east, holding a geode, searching for your purpose here. Unable to recall, you shrug, toss the rock aside, and abandon this unremarkable place. Aaron Watson. When I was a child, I walked around with cameras for hands. I lived in five places. I remember their light. I held on to the future, tighter than thorns, to choose a city and be chosen by it. At 17, I tended an empty place for Chicago to break through. I kept choosing it, kept practicing my body in the city like an instrument, always sounding, always leaving and always holding on. The space between remembering and believing is where I look for fortunes. If I remembered everything, I could open up my camera hand, spread out the pictures, and read them like a tarot deck. White service berry flowers, a neon sign saying empathy that shone behind the library on Fullerton, the plaster elephants on the Showman's League building downtown demolished, crushed into gravel, red dirt and rivers. If I had the pictures down just right, I could tell the total shape of home. Cameras for hands and a spinning compass for a heart. I put myself inside a grid and listen for a rhythm. Thoughts run raggedly wild as kudzu. I put myself inside a grid and count the blocks, count the miles, comfortable distances, the safety and knowing what 800 street numbers make and which way to the water. Here's how the camera hands would happen. Finger to thumb for a viewfinder, blink them together to seal the shutter. I put myself inside a grid and make up all these pictures. 
if I could remember just right, I would draw a continuous line in fiery white light from the molten metal at a recycling plant in North Carolina to the steel smelters at Finkel, also gone, shooting sparks, signs of fortune, if I could remember just right, if I had taken every picture. If I could remember just right, I'd draw that line around me. I'd hold the total map of where I'm from. I live here and I keep choosing the people who choose here. Cut through with wind, I keep showing up, looking for the light in things. I keep believing you keep showing up long enough and then you belong somewhere. It's just work. It's also magic, but first it's work. Work to make a home or tell the story of one. Over time, I took a blue line, I took an orange line, I took a green line, I took a bus. I rode my bike. I am astounded. I arrive from nowhere, bearing information. Looking so hard that I take and am taken. I ask for a mystery, something larger than me. I take what I am given. I hold it in my hands and look down straight roads to the horizon. Looking for the light in things and holding tight.